Let's bring in South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, always great to see you. Can I get your take on what the speaker Thank wants you. to do? Do we need a fourth rescue package? Well, we need to make sure that phase three actually works. <clears throat> we don't have any checks out yet. Uh, the unemployment part of phase three, I'm very worried about. Every state has an unemployment commission to issue unemployment checks. There were three million of people applied for unemployment last week. I think there'll probably be more this week. I'm very concerned that it may take six to eight weeks to get an unemployment check. Uh, and down the road, you're paying people more than they actually make. We got to fix both of those things. So I think the train wreck in this bill is going to be the unemployment insurance benefit because it's administered by state systems that are stuck in the 70s. So I want to get phase three right before we go to phase four. Senator, there was talk of people getting a second check down the road. If there is a phase four, would that be a part of it? Do you think there'll be another check that, that individuals will get? It might be, but these checks go to people with jobs. I want to focus on the people who are out of work. You know, I got a niece working uh, in South Carolina, makes about $40,000 a year. You know, quite frankly, she's okay. <clears throat> but somebody laid off needs the money. So these uh, direct payments go to people with income. I want to focus on people without income. The unemployment insurance system in this country is broken. I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to fix it. Six to eight weeks to get a check is what I'm hearing. That's unacceptable. And in unemployment under this bill, you're actually increasing people's wages, which will uh, deter growing the economy. We've got to fix both of those things. Absolutely. But, Senator, you've seen, you know, you've been in Washington for a long time. You know how when a big bill like phase four comes along, suddenly it's like, hey, right. what's in it for me? And, you know, <laughs> yeah. for Nancy Pelosi to talk right. about uh, she would like to see uh, infrastructure, uh, frontline workers aid to Washington, D.C. Is that appropriate given what you just described? Well, what I want to do is address the problem. Uh, why? What have we learned in the last 48 hours uh, that the disease is worse than the cure? I don't want to hear anybody else compare this to the flu anymore. President Trump has de decided to extend social distancing through the end of April. Why? Because if we do nothing, 2.2 million people are going to die of the coronavirus. That's 40 years of flu deaths in one year. So this is a terrible disease. The cure has to be tough. So the idea of creating phase four before you understand that phase three works doesn't make any sense to me. I'm hoping that what we're doing now in April and May will slow the disease down. Come summer, the, uh, the heat will stop its spread. And by the fall, we'll be ready to go at it with therapies and vaccines. But before I want to talk about phase four, I want to make sure phase three works. And if anybody puts a damn dime in phase four unrelated to the virus, they're going to be very famous because we're pe people are dying in this country. It's not now time to do the ne Green New Deal. If there's any Green New Deal stuff in phase four, if there is a phase four, there'd be one hell of a fight because 2.2 million Americans' lives are at risk here. Well, absolutely. But the gun was to everybody's head. Senator, uh, this started in China. Uh, and China has not owned up to this. Uh, what do you want to do about this? How much control do we have of stopping the next virus from coming through? Well, I'm going to write a letter to the World Health Organization and to the Chinese ambassador asking, asking them to close the Chinese wet markets. These are open-air markets where they sell, they sell monkey, they sell bat. We think we, this whole thing started from a transmission from a bat to a human. About the last three or four pandemics have come from the Chinese wet markets. I don't think this came from a Chinese military lab, but these wet markets are gross. Uh, they're just absolutely disgusting, selling exotic animals that transmit viruses from animals to human beings. Those things need to shut down. Do you think that's going to do Live any good? Animals. I mean, there's. Yeah, there, there's been controversy with the World well, Health Organization through all of this. Do you think China's really going to listen? Well, I think we should uh, 
I'm going to write a letter to the Chinese ambassador saying if you don't shut those wet markets down, our trading relationship is going to change. The source of this virus is the Chinese wet markets. But when you look, have doctors who come on and ask them how many diseases have come from China through these wet markets where you intermingle all kind of exotic animals, it's just really a gross display of how you prepare food. That needs to stop. What can China do to help the world shut those markets down? And speaking of shutdown, uh, Senator, what about your office? Uh, are, is it the social distancing thing? Is everybody working from home or what's going on? We have most people working from home, but we have uh, we have all the offices manned. We're trying to tell a communicate the best we can, but we have people at the offices. Yeah. Our governor's done a good job here. We're trying to trying to abide by the guidelines. Uh, I hope by April the 30th we'll have turned the corner here. But the president's decision to extend social distancing through April 30th was based on sound science. And here's what the president realized. This is not the flu. 2.2 million people could die in a single year. That is 40 year of flu deaths. So the cure in this case has to be draconian because the disease is so deadly. Testing has changed, that's good news. We have millions of tests available, not thousands. We do it in minutes, not days. So we're turning the corner in testing. And the sooner we get more tests, the more normal America will become. Yeah, uh, I cannot wait for that day. Uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, uh, thanks for leading the charge on this. Appreciate Thank you joining you, us this morning. Thanks.